Meditech will allow us to create electronic documentation at GoLive. To do this, you have to select the patient record and click on Document. This shows that you have no open documents for this visit for the patient. It shows you all the available documents that you can use to create a new document. These are essentially empty templated containers. Once you select one of these, you can create a corresponding note in Meditech. At the time of the go-life, we will have a progress note, a cardiac consult, clinical consult, cardiac OR, discharge summary, and operative reports available as templates. This templates could be entirely blank, such as the operative report, which does not pull any data when you create it. They could also be pre-populated with data from the chart, such as the progress note, which by default will pull the vital signs, labs, and medications and will allow you to fill in information regarding the assessment, impression, and plan. Once the note is created, from the point of view of health records, it will be exactly the same as creating a handwritten or a dictated note of the same type. If you choose to create electronic progress notes, please write a note in the chart to the extent that your note is in Meditech. At the time of go live, our orders will still have to go on the paper chart and cannot go into the progress note created electronically. Meditech has several features to improve documentation. One such method is using embedded Nuance voice recognition software Another is creating typicals, which are essentially copies of the entire template of the note. Several other methods exist and include being able to create templates for your sentences and paragraphs using quick text. When you select quick text, you will see a list of any of your shortcuts available in this viewer. You could also create new shortcuts. I will show you how to do this now. First, you have to click Edit. Create new trigger. Give a name to your shortcut. For example, I'm going to call mine .af. I will call it AFib. And I will put some text in. Once I've created it, I can either insert it into the text or save it. Here you can see the shortcut inserted. Let me show you how this works. You would type your trigger, press space, and Meditech will automatically substitute the sentence or paragraph you've created under quick text instead of the trigger in the text anywhere in Meditech. You could add images to your notes by clicking the Insert Image button. This allows you to choose a file on the system which contains the image which you would like to upload and save into the note. Two further options to save time during documentation include inserting canned text. This is similar to quick text, but statements are shared across users and programs. You can insert formatted data. This is data otherwise available in Meditech. One feature many of us will find useful involves 
saving bits of information you would like to include in your notes as you go through the chart. When we see a value we'd like to include, we have to right click on it, click Add to Save Data. Here I saved a plasma potassium level. I'm going to save the temperature. At this point, when I'm ready to document, I could open the report container I'm planning to work with, click to enter text. Now save data is available for me to insert. Now, if I just insert it, it will take it out of the clipboard. If I want to keep these values in the, in the clipboard, I would select Keep to make sure they're still available. When I click Insert, you can see that the information in the chart was inserted right into the note. You can see the contents of the clipboard from the reference pane. Again, you do not have to insert all of the contents into every note. This view allows you to select which of the components you would like to include or not include by deselecting them into the note. We recommend that as you start using Meditech, you would create a number of quick text templates probably about 15 to 20 per physician, as well as typicals, which would include your entire note, such as your OR note for a typical procedure, or your typical clinical note for a specific condition, such as congestive heart failure. This should speed your work with Meditech tremendously. When you are done with a document, you could either draft it save it, or sign and release it. What are the differences between these three? And this is very important. Draft will save the document exactly as is. When you go back, you would click on the document to open it again and can go back to editing the document just as it was. If you save the document, it will create a timestamp when you saved it. You would be able to go back and edit it again, but it will contain a timestamp of the previous version and will allow you to add to the document as opposed to override it entirely. Finally, when you go to sign it, you will release the document into health records. If for whatever reason you are not happy with the document and you haven't signed it yet, you could delete it by clicking on the cogwheel and clicking cancel or delete.